<coughs> Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this time. Thank you for this time. A fellowship tonight, we pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you touch hearts, change lives by the power of your Holy Spirit. Now, while you're not alone, Hallelujah, we have a lot of people who came to me, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and I come in born in this sin and I die. Praise the Lord. Amen. Not the foundational scripture. And um, Isaiah 119, please. <coughs> Isaiah 119, <coughs> verses 9, 10, and 11. Psalms 119, not Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah 100, um, Isaiah, Psalms. Psalms 119. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. 119 verses 19 and 11. Did I say Isaiah? Yes. Uh, Psalms 119. My apologies. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Psalms 119 uh, verses 19 and 11. The Bible says, uh, how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word? In my whole heart I have sought you, or oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The solution of not sinning against God Hallelujah, is to fill our lives, our hearts with the, the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope you are, you've got a a head up with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I think we're up to topic 16. Topic 16, eh? What is a soul tie? Praise the Lord. We'll finish this thing off tonight. Praise the Lord. This is the last topic. What is a soul tie? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's your word on notes. Can we all read it together, please? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible speaks of what is today known as a soul ties. In the Bible it doesn't use the word soul tie, but it speaks of uh, then when it talks about souls being knit together, uh, becoming one flesh. That's like in a marriage, a relationship, or uh, when you join some kind of a, an organization or group, like a gang, yeah. to use that in a negative way. Praise the Lord. Amen. A soul tie can serve many functions, but it, in its simplest form, it ties two souls together in the spiritual realm. This is why it is so, um, uh, so, can I say, uh, so binding eh? in the spiritual realm. Uh, even if you go to a place like a mandir or a, um, if you go to a temple uh, or a gathering, 
where Christ is not worshipped, eh? the spirits operating in those places and in those kind of functions can get on you. Eh? Praise the Lord. Soul ties uh, between married couples draw them together like magnets, while soul ties uh, between fornicators can draw a beaten and abused woman to the man which in the natural realms she, uh, she would hate and run from, but instead she runs to him even though he doesn't love her and treats her like dirt. We see that a lot, eh? We see that a lot in relationships, in marriages, in families, where the husband is very abusive, praise the Lord, eh? Beats the wife up, abuse the children, but after that, the wife <coughs> goes back to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, this happens, happens a lot, eh? Amen. Now, Pastor Harry would have noticed this a lot in his role as a police officer. Praise the Lord. And this is the reason why. Because it has a spiritual connection, eh? It has a spiritual connection. Praise the Lord. We don't see it that way, but here it is, eh? Here it is. Praise the Lord. <coughs> I helped a young man not too long ago break free from downright awful visitations from demons all due to an ungodly soul tie he had with a witch. The man was a Christian and the only thing that allowed her to send demonic torment his way is through soul tie. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen, eh? Be very careful the kind of uh, function, the kind of places that you allow yourself to go to, eh? Because you can be very well exposing yourself uh, to those kind of things. Amen? Praise the Lord. Other soul ties that can do things such as allow one person to manipulate and control the other person and the other person is unaware to what is going on or knows what is going on but for no real reason allows it to, to continue praise the lord uh, this is that uh, stuff that uh, they take they take a lock of your hair or something a possession something that belongs to you handkerchief a shirt praise the lord Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they perform the witchcraft and send the demons to whoever owns these clothes. Amen. Amen. Sometimes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All of us are exposed to it. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Any questions so far? So there is a spiritual umbilical cord that links us to that person eh, or to a meeting or to a function that we attend. Amen. 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 Eh? How soul ties are formed, uh, there are two ways, or several ways actually. Eh? They are formed, but here are some of it. It's in your notes, eh? It's in your notes. Praise the Lord. Eh? Number one is what? Sexual relations. It's on page 13 on the notes, eh? Should be. Page 13, for those of you who had the handouts last week, eh? <coughs> the handouts last week. Don't be too good, Praise the Lord on page 13. Are you there? <coughs> Sexual relations. Satan wrote to you, We'll tell them that I wrote to you. Only soul ties are formed when a couple are married. Ephesians 5, 31. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And the godly soul die between the husband and the wife that God intended 
him to have is unbreakable by man. Mark 10, 7 to 9. However, however, when a person has ungodly sexual relations with another person, an ungodly soul tie is then formed. 1 Corinthians 6, 16. What? No, not that he which is joined to a hallowed is one body. For two, say he sell to one flesh. This soul is fragment the soul and is distracted. People who have many past relationships find it very difficult to bond or to join to anybody because the soul is fragmented. So in other words, if you've had many boyfriends or many girlfriends in the past, and you come and get married to your, let's say, current girlfriend, unless you break those previous soul ties with those relationships, praise the Lord, you are marrying a person, or you are, eh, with fragmented souls, eh? praise the Lord, and you bring all these spirits with you, and then you try eh, and bond with your wife, and it's making it very difficult. Eh? Praise the Lord. Yes. Eh? Or if you're already married and you lost a tumba. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? You, you start developing relationship if you're a man with other women, or if you're a wo wo woman, woman eh, developing relationship with other men, eh, then you are opening yourself right up for the transference of spirit. And this is why it causes so much trouble within the marriage. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the reason why when two people, when I say two people, that's a man and a woman. Eh? Praise the Lord. I need to clarify that. Eh? because of the same-sex marriage that is happening right now, eh? So when, eh, when two people need to get married, that's a man and a woman, we need to break off every kind of soul ties from their lives uh, before they can get married. Do you understand that? Praise the Lord. Otherwise, your marriage is doomed right from the very beginning. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah? That needs to be cut off, eh? Needs to be broken. Praise the Lord. Amen, Amen eh? Pastor. Hallelujah. Yes, Pastor Hill. The greatest problem that we face today in our society, in material whether you are belonging to Christ or not, this is the greatest problem that we face, where people are dishonest in their marriage life. Amen. Eh? And this is problem is very, very hard or becoming difficult to, to solve. To solve. And what happens, it ends in uh, people giving up their life, yeah. uh, children being uh, what, abundant, yeah. and broken families, yeah. and streets on the feet, children on the streets. You yeah. see, many things add up to yes, yes. Uh, that because yeah. of that. Yeah. So it is uh, something that needs to be broken yeah. before those two come to unite. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So do you see now the value of uh, marriage counseling? Yeah. Yes. I mean pre-marriage counseling, not right. post-marriage counseling. Mm -hmm. Because some people then they want the counseling when they have the swollen face, eh? Yeah. Then they come to pass and cry. <laughs> cry. My husband beat me up. Yeah. Eh? Praise the Lord. You're supposed to have the pre-marriage counseling eh? so yeah. that it doesn't reach that stage for you. Eh? The people who avoid it and say, we are in love. We are in love. We love each other so much. That love turned into hate after that. Eh? I remember a young lady in Suwa, in Faith Suwa. She came one day and she said, I hate my husband. I hate my husband. I hate my husband. I said, why did you marry him? She said, he, well, he wasn't like that in the beginning. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> I said, well, you, you're, you're very new to this thing, aren't you, eh? Hallelujah. Because when you're dating somebody, 
That's not the same person you married. Yeah, that's so true. How many, how many ladies here you found out? Ah, yeah, I can see the heads. Eh? Because uh, the sister, they give the best side eh, of themselves. And the brother, they give the best side of themselves. Eh? But where after the ring gets on the finger, Hana. Eh? And some women turn around and say, um, Boy, I wish I knew you like this. Eh? I wouldn't have married you. How many of you said that in, in your heart? Yeah, Angie, yeah. don't put a hand up, eh? Ah, praise the Lord, eh? Hallelujah, eh? Hallelujah, sister engineer over there at the back, eh? Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, eh? Here, eh? How many times the women have said that, eh? And also the men, eh? But not, not when the wife is listening. Praise the Lord. Otherwise, otherwise, no roti and curry will be cooked. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We just said it somewhere else. Hallelujah. It's like that. Eh? Then we, then as if somebody opened our eyes and then we see the real person. Eh? And then we're like, wow! This fellow, barka, barka, devil. <laughs> eh? Because what happens when in, during the dating period, we're only presenting eh, the nicer person. Ito to mga rita at siko nga, eh, wala tang matawin na ka, wala tang anawin na ka, wala tang anawin na ka, tang anawin mga gosa, pati ni Soli makati ko praga, nindo na ka, eh. Eh, bila ka ito siko, eh. Iyan na nga na nga may zomba raw nga na mamani, baka bau. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ito ko na nga ang doon ay talatala. Eh, ito na nga doon ay talatala. Kwa na kini sa rumo na asin tong bimay kini na wangga ni bola na kini sa u. Tu nak kau apa? Tengok orang friend, eh, mana baka rom bukan tiung aya, uang ni bola ya, mama tak bukan dua. Praise the Lord, Alleluia. Eh, dua tar tar tu kunyah tak kau ya, Alleluia tu nak kau ya. Tala ya, awak tidak nak tunang awak ni memang laku sini atau kamu mulai boleh tahu yang kembali. Orang tu saya bila kamu mesti tengok sini ya, eh, Alleluia. Maka suat yang bila laku brother laku sini atau kamu. Praise the Lord. Gaya basi kamu kan nama tak ada siapa tahu sah sini tuntut la sote. Orang aku macam tak lah. Nama nama kita orang kita tidak tahu orang ni betul bioka. Nanti orang kau sah sini macam tak. Alleluia. Amen ni. Alleluia. Nui nui tiga ya sepasta hebi. Of the cup eh. Ha. Is there any formula? Ha. For a person to test. Test them among themselves ah. whether that person is a real lover of the person. I, I guess uh, the, the only the only test I think we were going through the dating period is that uh, uh, when we remember the lesson we deal about lust and love. Love will wait, but lust is selfish. It thinks about itself eh, and what it can get. You notice. Uh, let's say, let's just take a girl and a boyfriend, eh? If the boyfriend loves the girlfriend, then the boyfriend will wait, eh? And uh, see, marry the normal boyfriend to do something that you will re later on regret, eh? Praise the Lord. Yes. Okay, see, you the process, eh? Yes. Praise the Lord. Because the boyfriend will see you, eh, as a valuable person, eh, that's got worth and value. Not, uh, eh, not as a, a badge of honor to conquer. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You will honor the person eh, that you're dating. You will wait eh, until, eh, who gives this bride away? Then, to say that, respect whatever the girl is going to say. Yeah. There's a mutual respect eh, for each other. Yeah, this is bitch, eh? We agree, agree to that. Yeah. But it becomes difficult yeah. to read the mind of a particular person. Yeah. I think mean, that's probably why we, that's yeah. probably why the dating period should be around maybe two to three years. <coughs> counseling and things. Ah, <coughs> counseling too. Eh? Even even counseling during the dating period. Yeah. I, I would suggest. Like, eh? like sometimes we can we can try out some formulas. Yeah. Uh, suppose we two has supposed to meet at a location. For <coughs> example, I give, okay, let's meet at Village 6. Uh, is the two ticket for you. Uh, and then <coughs> they're supposed to go, go and watch the movie. Uh, 
And then the girl wants to test the boy if the boy really is a true lover of her. Right. So <clears throat> girl says, okay, we will meet. Right. Boy buys the ticket. Right. And the girl goes somewhere and keeps and watch on that boy, watching her mo his movements. <coughs> uh, you know, you're monitoring him. You're monitoring him. tracking him. And then you, you don't go on time. Right. You go right there late. Right. And then what will be the reaction of that boy? Yeah. Now, if that boy is really loving you, he'll say, my dear, okay, I accept you. Never mind, we can come to the right, right. And if you start getting angry, right. I don't know, you must clearly know uh -huh. this is a wrong person. What the temper person, eh? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Those are the ones that are going to be Hallelujah. It's just a small bit. Yeah, praise the Lord, eh? Can you have a short fuse to come and go quiet? Praise the Lord, eh? Hallelujah. I'm going to be able to be able to see that, eh? Hallelujah. I'm going to be able to see that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? So that sort of thing, eh? Because if you, you can you can do the research and do check out his background, eh? What kind of person he is. Eh? Are, are he, is he playing you? <coughs> Amen. You're just one of the girls within his circle of friends that he plays, eh? This week it's your turn, next week it's another girl, then the week after that it's another one, then a week after that it's another one. Yeah? It's like in the Muslim they call it ah, harem. Praise the Lord. Are you one of his harem? Praise the Lord. Eh? So he's only playing you, playing with your heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. In, Amen. Uh, in uh, some communities, you see, people are trying to send their children abroad. Mm. And in doing so, without much thinking, they will try to connect with some male, of, especially male, who is coming from abroad. They want to keep it to themselves. Right. And when, when marriage takes place, they think that, oh, they have married the wrong person. That right. boy was already there or somehow the other. Yeah. You know, if that, like, when this thing is happening, it is always like we have, we are a group here, yeah. bring attention to the pastor. Huh. This is going to happen in Malaysia. Uh, yes. And then things can be uh, checked on. Yeah. Sabata Tatsuka Rakatun Chuka Pastor Harry, eh? Hallelujah. Because this thing is spiritual, kau tahu mana rara-rama, eh? Nombor bimbo saki. Eh, introduce them, yeah, introduce him or her to the pastor. Eh, baby. Do I have a tar? Any question? Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. So I'm hoping, praying, hallelujah, that the pastor Henry and pastor Atish We'll get to meet your boyfriend, hallelujah, and we're start, going to start counseling you. Don't hide it from us, eh? Because sooner or later we'll find it in the Facebook, eh? Praise the Lord. Yeah, then we'll ask you, what are you doing? Amen. 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 Close relationships, two, three. King David and Jonathan had good soul ties as a result of good friendship. First Samuel 18, 1. And it came when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was healed with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. But their soul ties still formed from their relationship as well. I have like somebody who can cause a sense of time. I have created that you can create a soul time. We can walk through with the music. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord and nothing then in our place and you begin to tap your foot. And you begin to and you begin to bop. You know what I mean by bop? And you begin to bop. How many of you have done that in the past? Praise the Lord. All of us, eh? Hallelujah. Eh? Sometimes Auntie Ole and I will be going in the past. And one of the songs that was a hit from the 70s. We'll hear it. Auntie Ole go. 
And I go, what? She goes, hmm. what? Oh, praise the Lord. And be Abba, or, you know, knowing me and knowing you, or something like that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I did this one time. This was back uh, last year or year before last. Uh, we went past the shop that was playing some kind of music from the 70s. And as soon as we went past the shop, I start singing the song. And she goes, I rebuilt you. I go, what? Uh, and I didn't catch. And uh, she said, what, 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 you, what song are you singing? So anyway, then I changed it. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. So this also can happen. Amen. Uh, let, me, let me warn you. Sometimes you, we can idolize preachers in the church. Yeah. Amen. So, some, sometimes we can idolize preachers in the church or certain individual and when they do something eh, that is unbecoming then we feel disappointed eh? because we shouldn't be idolizing our pastors or preachers mm -hmm. amen the only person we should be idolizing is the Lord Jesus yes, Christ amen. 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 not any man not anything not anyone mm -hmm. praise the Lord but when in the Tamata we can all make mistakes. Yes. I have my weaknesses just the same as you are. Mm. Don't idolize me or any of the leadership team here. Mm. Yes, he's got a good voice. Eh? I'm talking about Brother Demis. Praise the Lord. He's got a good voice, eh? a really good voice. Praise the Lord, but don't idolize him. Eh? Yes, amen. No, no, never have. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So don't idolize any of us. Eh? Hallelujah. Because Brother Demis can sing. Eh? He can really sing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He can also teach the word of God. He can also teach. Praise the Lord. He's a man of many talents. Eh? And, and, and on top of that, he's a very good looking, handsome young man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Don't masu tiko bale mu mendo na watina binaka. Hallelujah. If he marries one buria, we will never see him again over here. Eh? Praise the Lord. Don't masu tiko mendo na sister binaka me watina. Hallelujah. And all the members of the church say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In the idolizing, we, ha. we see with mass media today, we have Bollywood and other things that right. is coming to our yes. Yes. door I step inside the house. Yes. And what we see by, by the look of that, the dress code, then it is transferred into our own children. Yes. We are idolizing, we are copying that actually from that and putting ourselves. Yes. Yes. It also is to some extent related that uh, liking that one. Yes. And putting to your, yourself in that situation. Yes. I, I, I'm beginning to see in Fiji that way, especially with the young girls. Eh? I'm noticing now as I go through Suba and go in the past that uh, the dressing of these uh, young girls have really gone down. Eh? Really gone down. Praise the Lord. And to some extent, it's starting to filter into the church. Praise the Lord. Especially with the young girls, eh? Especially with the young girls. Be careful, eh? Be careful what you wear to church. Be careful what you wear around town, eh? But, but also, Pastor, it says that it's now modernization. Yeah. They are modernizing. And if they do not modernize themselves, yeah. they will seem that they are left far behind. Yeah. They are unable to catch up with the, with the current flow of the modernization. <coughs> there are a lot of challenges. Uh -huh. there, there is a lot of challenges, but I think you can modernize, yeah? you can modernize uh, without flirting with your uniform eh? or with your dress code. Amen. You don't have to you have to do, you don't have to wear provocative clothing. Praise the Lord. You don't there's no need to wear see-through clothing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One old man says what was saying like that. 
the whole body has been seen by the husband. Ah. But we have to shorten our clothes so we other men can see my body. Praise the Lord. And second thing he said, when we put the golden tea, ha. he says that the husband has seen the the husband has seen that the golden uh, broken teeth. Ha. But because of golden teeth, you have to smile to another man so he can see. I suppose I suppose that's where WM comes in, eh? Wrong motive, eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, eh? Thank you, Pastor Tish. I've never heard that illustration before, but there you go. Praise the Lord, eh? The next one is vows, commitments, and agreements. Eh? Ruatolu. Vows, commitments, and uh, be careful, eh? Be careful of the, the vows that you make. Praise the Lord. Because sometimes we can make vows without uh, realizing uh, the, uh, the, the binding of that vows. And the Torah is my mind, eh? So, I don't know what I like. It's very binding, eh? Uh, I remember that the father promised to bring bongo in the afternoon. Mm. Eh, eh. Yeah. Come afternoon, the child is waiting for the bongo. I broke a broken promise. Eh? Be careful. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't promise anything that you cannot deliver. Praise the Lord. Because that is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us we take it very lightly and casual. Eh? It's sort of like a play thing. Eh? But be very careful. Eh? Because you're starting to promise things that you have no intention of fulfilling it whatsoever. Uh, when it comes to relationship, be very careful. When I allow, eh, stop promising your boyfriend things that you'll do for him eh? if you have no intention of fulfilling it. Better not to promise him anything at all, eh? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, eh? How to break a soul tie. Two, three. <coughs> If you have, eh, if you have a soul tie, if you promised anything, if you made a covenant, if you have, if you've joined a group, uh, 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 Boy Scouts, Girl Guides, uh, a gag, Amen. Praise the Lord, and you swore an oath, so you need to repent and break those. Eh? If you read the horoscopes on the Fiji Times and the Fiji Sun. Praise the Lord. If you've got books at home, you're interested in literature, or you watch movie of a demonic nature, Harry Potter, uh, what's the other? Zena, uh, those things. Cartoons that of the demonic nature. Those are all Praise the Lord. That's because there's a lot of them coming these days. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't ganga around him inaka. You are exposing yourself to demons. And you'll soon watch. What's happening is that this, you're going to set a trend here that you like those kind of movies. Yeah, you're beginning to develop a soul ties, eh? And you begin to watch. But you won't watch them during the early evening. You'll watch them late in the night. By yourself. And that's when the demons get you, eh? Because the eyes is the gate of the body, the Bible says. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. While you're watching the movie, the demons are entering in. And then, more work for Pastor Tisha. Praise the Lord. 
Bago to nga garo nabi nakakina. Amen. 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 Especially demonic nature movie, cartoons. Praise the Lord. See, nobody putting their hands up now, eh? Praise the Lord. But anyway, don't come <coughs> after the meeting. He says, Pastor, I'll deliver the young man, eh? Praise the Lord. I'll say, go to a pastor fish. He'll pray that deliverance prayer for you. Pastor Henry will do it for you. Pastor David said that he'll do it for you. Sister Oli here, she'll do it. She'll cast the demons out of you. <coughs> What will you do? I go to the bank and hit the power. Praise the Lord. Number two, who are told? It will be given to you by the other person in connection with the seed or an unholy relationship, such as rings, flowers, cards, brass, etc. Stop, stop, stop. Brass here, brass here. Don't wear brass. Praise the Lord. Panties. Eh? Praise the Lord. Uh, Richard card. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. Okay. We will, we will come down to it. We'll start to go. I would get rid of them. I will get rid of them. Such things symbolize unlocking relationship and their holy souls are in place. If you are still friends or in a relationship, just now it's no longer an unlocking relationship. Messages. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. No, I meant you without my text messages, emails. Mm. Praise the Lord. Quite can I get and go, eh? Praise the Lord. Wakamato Voka rebuke it, cut off. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 All the soul ties, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 Any rash vows or commitments made that play a part in forming the soul ties should be renounced and repented of and broken in Jesus' name. Even things like I will love you forever or I could never love another man need to be renounced. They are spoken commitments that need to be undone verbally. And as for verbs that you want to leave just us, Amen. So if you've said that before, I love you with my whole heart, full speed and no break. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. I had to do this myself. Eh? Praise the Lord. I had to do it myself. Hallelujah. Love letters and cards and whatever else, eh? Father, the, the sister gave. I had to burn it, break the soul ties of it, eh? Repent before God. Because you know when your pastor comes to preach to you with all the soul ties still there, do you? Mm -hmm. You know one that? Or do you? Praise the Lord, eh? Yeah. Amen. So, these are some of the practical things that we can do to break it, eh? Amen. Amen. Yes. And the Savai, I'm going to take you to the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
So young people, be wise. Mm -hmm. School holidays are rollicking on my God. Ah, it's here actually. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Amen. Uh, the statistics are in Fiji currently. The most teenage pregnancy happens during the Coca Cola Games, the uh, Hibiscus Festival, and the. What's the third one? Christmas. Christmas and New Year's. The most time, eh, possibly the Tembaro do. Eh? So Christmas and New Year's, Coca Cola Games. And the uh, Hibiscus Festival. These are the highest period or periods of high of, uh, of uh, teenage pregnancies. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I'm praying and hoping that you won't be in those in that statistics. And I said in the week I'm doing one LL or and uh will in a statistics yeah. Eh? message. That means it's biblically proven. Yeah. If a man and a woman sleep together, no matter how, how old you are, yeah. they are married. Well, then, well, actually, they don't have to be married to sleep together because, uh, because an old man can, can still commit incest. Eh? But there's a soul ties, and it's a very strong soul tie, eh? uh, committed in, a, 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 is, uh, is established uh, in, in sexual sins. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, well, that's the reason why God preserved sex until marriage. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, uh... But the sex Now they become one flesh. Eh? Praise the Lord. That's what happens. Eh? They become one flesh eh? when they are when they when, when they are consummate the marriage. Uh, go on. Okay, we pass that because you say um, the the marriage is preserved for, for the girl or the man is preserved for that for the man, eh? So the marriage is a covenant. Eh? If the blood is spilled before marriage, yeah. that means that the marriage has already happened. Mm. No. Well, technically not. Mm. Okay. But but what will happen for that young lady is that when she comes to her official marriage, eh, she won't be able to have uh, the opportunity or the great honor to shed the blood of her covenant of marriage. Because it can only happen once. Satarati. Quite a quenta vaca, Yalokanga, Tigitina. Praise a maro royico, may have the one a singer in the Mubaka Bang. You are robbing yourself, robbing your family, robbing your daddy, walking you up the aisle if you go and commit sexual sin or fornication. Before you get married, Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Uh, for some people, just elaborating on what Brother Demes is saying there. Now, this can also happen in the spiritual realm. Yes, that's right. Eh? That's right. Eh? That's where uh, the incubus and succubus spirits come in. Eh? The incubus and scuba spirits come in. Scooby Doo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I am Scooby. Praise the Lord. Angel Jacob to Brother Davis. Amen. 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 That's exactly what happened. Eh? What is known, commonly known as a spiritual wife or spiritual husband. Amen. Amen. You seem so shocked. Do you understand now? 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Number four. Praise the Lord. Baby sort, yeah? Can let's finish this thing off? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number five. Praise the Lord. Number five. Number five. Example, in Jesus' name, I now pronounce any ungodly soul that is born during myself and as a result of fornication, etc. And if you have performed fornication, then you can put in the, the name of the boy. Yeah, if you've got several boyfriends, to all what the kids are doing, and now they're talking about the kids are living with boyfriend, or they're living with Yeah. Because girls too can do it, eh? They can play the voice these days. They know how to do it. Not only the boys are doing it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look at me like that, eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because eh? girls too can play this game. Hallelujah. What do you think I am? Me too can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, you and me, we got something happening here. You go that side. Oh, you tell me I'm in the cover of cover. Amen. Hallelujah. No more the cover of glory. the cover of the transference of spirit and the soul time. Get to get my number number in the community. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And, 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 and you're thinking, how can I, how can I stop? Yeah? How can I stop? Well, you can't stop it because it's a spiritual problem. Mm. Can only be stopped by the power of Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Pastor Bill, just a question. Yeah. Having so many boyfriends, just as boyfriends, yeah. and they don't have to go into intimacy, yeah. does that matter so much in them? Uh, the, the, the danger there, sister. Did everybody heard what she said? No. The danger of having so many boyfriends. Remember the transference of spirits and the soul ties. How much further are you willing to take it? Are you willing to take it that far? Can you take it that far? Eh? Now that can result vehicle, can if you take it that far? Do you like boys calling you, touching you, no. rubbing against you? Do you get a, a buzz? <coughs> yeah, it's like a drug. Eh? This thing is like a drug. Amen? This thing is like a drug. Once you taste it, praise the Lord, you want more of it. Eh? You become addicted to it. I think it's in Song of Solomon's, do not awaken love until it is the appropriate time. Sexual arousal, sexual senses. Man, you wake that thing up, it is very difficult to put it to sleep again. Ganga Ruribina. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All you gotta do is listen to some of the testimonies of us people, us people. You know, the people that have gone through. Yeah? That's what I mean. I know. It's broken English. I try to speak in Australian and speak English. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, it's all broken everywhere, this thing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Eh? Quite quiet. How they deal with their relationship. Eh? Oh, man. We wish we had this thing all over We had this thing all over again. We wish we had it all, all over again. Amen? Is that right, eh? We get to all over the room. Ah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We could have done it properly. Praise the Lord. But it's never too late with God, eh? It's never too late with God. God can still restore a broken heart. Amen? Praise the Lord. Now, that doesn't mean that you go out and get your heart broken. Amen? <laughs> uh, uh, prevention is better than? Cure. Uh, amen. Uh, obedience is better than? Sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Number six, two, three. 
Break the soul tie. In Jesus' name. Do be as firmly using your authority in Jesus. Example, I now break and steer and unwind on God's soul ties for myself and as a result of so whatever sin that you guys did eh? going to watch the movie in Village 6 and we kissing and kissing and kissing touching each other eh? he put his hand in my bra and I like it like that praise the Lord amen hallelujah eh? he put his hand up my head up my legs and man I just let him do it so that sort of thing now don't look at me like that my brother I'm preaching like that <laughs> Wow, you can't say that from the top. Well, I'm saying it. Eh? I have a, tonight is my last time, so I can't say anything I want to say. Yeah. You can get mad at the preacher. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to the renunciation of sexual sins. Say it aloud. Are ready? Yes. Two, three. Father. Power. Are you ready? Yes. Are we all ready? Yes. Let's say two, three. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Son of God. He takes away the sin of all those who repent and confess Him as Lord. The blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sins. I claim freedom from all sins of the sexual nature and make me put my eyes, ears, smile, and feel the sexual nature. All longing for that which is forbidden, and all unnatural affections, all unrestrained questions and hearts, and all activities that produce mere devotion or foster sexual sleep. I further confess all filthy communication, all sin and filthy language, all conversation and jokes, filled and unseen music, poetry, literature and art, all forms of laundry, all acts of sunny, adultery, immorality, fornication, masturbation, and the treatment of homosexuality. I also confess all affection for and attachment to Thank you so much uh, for coming uh, to the studies that we've been having. Praise the Lord. Thank you to the young people. Praise the Lord for attending the study. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Praise the Lord. Uh, it's been a great time of ministry for myself and uh, thank the leadership here, Pastor Spatish and Pastor Harry and the leadership team here. Thank you so much uh, 
for um, allowing me to to um, to be the pastor uh, for a sh short period of time. Uh, thank you so much uh, for letting me um, teach the congregation here, and thank you so much, church, for allowing me to be your pastor for these six weeks. It's been a great pleasure. Nasar value, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, uh, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, uh, for encouraging us, uh, stirring us. And uh, Lord God, just doing a work on the inside of us. Lord God, to be vessels of honor. Hallelujah. For you, Father God, for your use. We pray through the teachings that we've uh, shared and learned, Father God, these past few weeks. We pray that you will help the, your church here, Father God, uh, to develop, to deepen the, our roots, Father God, so that we can be equipped with the necessary tools, Father God, to be vessels of honor, ready for the Master's use. I pray, Father God, for each person, each family, each uh, relationship, each marriage here, Lord God, each young man, each young woman, Lord God, touch their lives, Father God, Protect their lives, watch over them, guard and protect them, Father God, from every kind of seduction of the enemy that might uh, come against their lives, Father God, hallelujah, to destroy their lives. Father God, we pray for the covering and the protection of your blood over them this school holidays and the rest of this year. Help them, Father God, to grow up, Lord God, to be mature in God and in the things of God. Thank you so much, Lord God, for what you, you've already done for what you are doing right now, and for what you are going to do in the future. We praise you and we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. I invite Pastor Harry, Pastor Harry, would you like to come and say a few words uh, uh, before we close this meeting tonight? Okay, uh, my brothers and sisters, we are very fortunate, once again, I will say that we are very fortunate to have Pastor Bosia with us yeah. for all this time. And then we are also very fortunate. Or fortunate means we are very lucky ones. We are very lucky ones that we are able to receive this teaching, particularly on dating. A subject that is not taught Maybe in schools, I do not know if they're teaching in schools, but not in this way. They have, may have other agendas. But here, we have uh, learned, and now I appeal to all of us, parents, remind your children, and uh, the children yourself, young ones, teens ones, what you have learned, make it in use. Practice what you have learned here today. Now, if you fail to uh, use what you have learned, then it is useless. Now, look after yourself, base yourself on the word of God. That is our foundation. Like, like a house that is built, or a house that is built on a solid rock has a strong foundation. Build your life with a solid foundation, with the word of God, and Jesus will stand around you in all angles, wherever you are, in any situation, he will say, I am your protector and defender. I am here as, as a foundation. Make sure that, or just try to try to do it in that way, that, and then you will see, you are not lost, you are with, and you are with yourself. And praise the Lord. We, we ought to say praise the Lord that God has timely sent him here to give us this particular teaching. Not coming, not coming. And we are thankful to you very much, uh, Pastor, uh, especially the teaching that we have received here today. This teaching, uh, I personally believe that it's quite difficult. It becomes difficult to express. If I have to express this all in Hindi, I will be a unable to do it. But being English is a language that gives us a little bit flow that we are able to do it. And praise to God, or well, thank you that we can now understand English and bring it into our practice. We say thank you. Young girls, young boys, it's not only for you, but also for our married people. Now, these things, if we were different ways, so now is the time. We have learned it now. Now is the time to make it straight. Right? Make it straight, and then you will find somehow 
it's further ahead, the road will narrow. Uh, if you are in the wider road, the road will narrow. And that narrow road is going to take you to a better place in all situations. So we're thankful to you. We're also thankful to our pastor, senior pastor here, for allowing uh, our visitor pastor here to be with us for this, uh, for this, uh, uh, for this period. We are also uh, thankful to Sister Oli because uh, uh, we are thankful because you have been all the time in the company. You know, good time, bad time. We, we went through bad weather, rainy time and cold time, but people were coming here to receive the teaching. So we are thankful to you because you were making your time available. You did not bother us as how I'm going to come or how I'm going to go, but you found your way. And that is how, when Jesus was moving, he was not bothering other people. He was not telling, hey, disciples, please take me there. Pick me from there. He says, what did he say? He says, go, I will follow. Go ahead, I will follow. So, so you see, uh, <clears throat> they have made all the way here, somehow the other, gave us knowledge, and we shall be using this knowledge. So we are thankful to you. Not, not. We are also thankful, thankful for all of you who have come here. <laughs> eh? Be thankful that you came here and you received. I know we cannot take everything from here, but we can take something from here. Yes. Little we can take, yes. and that little one is the main thing that is going to make you grow. And from that little seed, even a mustard seed, is going to grow, grow, grow. And you will see that you will be, you will be harvesting plenty. Eh? The farmer knows it. I want seed gives plenty. And then you will see your life will be fruitful. So we are blessed and be blessed again. Glory will shine upon you. Blessed is his name. We are also thankful pastor and his family. Most of the time I see pastor here, he says, how are you coming? Sometimes I'm not here, sometimes I like that. Some, we are mankind, we also have to do some more thing or the other. Praise but God. we made our way. And we are thankful to pastor and uh, pastor's wife again. We, we are thankful to God. Sisters, we are also thankful to you for providing refreshment. Myself, I don't know where the money was coming from. I was only eating here. I did not ask where the money is coming from. I did not ask pastor where it's, where it's coming from. But it was provided. It was provided. Some of the other will all come to be done. As pastor has said, there is much work to be done in the last Sunday's message. We are all part of it. So if you have to do one small thing, please do it heartily. And that small thing will be, is going to add up to you one big thing. God says, if you do small things neatly, with heartily, I'm not going to look at your needs. I will fulfill your want. Amen. You see what it says? Your need is there, but I will look beyond what you are asking. I'll, I'll look beyond and fulfill what you want. So what do you want? I need a car. I need a... Uh, some luxury furniture or luxury house. God said, I will look into that because you are honest with the small things. Honesty is the best practice, not only by saying, but it's only by practice. Practice we will receive. So thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'll give this time to Andy Salome. He wants to say something. Please come up. Amen. Nak, and I 
children, but the adults and the oldest be prepared to. The electronic communication came, that is very powerful tools for the Satan. The mobile, even if we see, if you go in some houses, there is no food, but there are plenty phones. <laughs> One child has got a phone, but there is no food in the house. Amen. We are going to beg from the neighbor. Amen. After that, the alert, another system of electronic came. And the biggest one came now, price. This is the electronic one. Big car came. A boy can say, I got an electronic car. No fuel, don't have to use the fuel. So we have to be very cautious on this time. Amen. 
we can see most of the time we delay in our prayer time but we cannot delay on the phone time <laughs> Amen. Not, not, not. afternoon when we have prayer time in the afternoon and the children they say just wait for five minutes because my phone is ringing God is waiting there too because he wants to reply or answer Christ, and that time the communication between our and God has been found. Forget time. about the phone. And the parents, please check your children's phone. Amen. You must check your children's phone. If you don't check your phone, if you trust your children, that communication, the Satan is big Satan, is hiding inside. And he is doing everything. Amen. So thank I want to thank you everybody for this precious time that you have taken out. And I I, I can't say goodbye to my pastor. <laughs> yeah, you know, we can only adjust it to next day. Yeah. Next day. We can't say goodbye. So we're gonna wait for Monday then we're gonna talk. My wife and uh, myself and we go and go to the and we talk, 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 we calm down and we think about you people, the children, the parents, they, some they are working in, outside, they have to come and prepare the food and sometimes they have to run, we have to think about the children, uh, they come from school, they have to do the homework, they left there, but I would like to thank each and every one. You have spent the time with God, that is a big blessing for you. Amen. 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 First, I would like to say thank you, my big brother. Laka. Thank you, Saudi, Jo, uh, family, brother, your family. I would like to say thank you. Amen. If uh, the numbers were not here, so we could not be uh, taught like this. Amen. Amen. So thank you, everybody, and I would like to thank my Savior too. Thank you very much. We can Thank continue you. saying this, but the time is says that we will now uh, do something else. Eh? Mm. Refreshment and things are waiting. <laughs> Ladies, take control. No? <laughs> I can say so it's a good time, and then we will uh, pray for the food, uh, and then we will have our food. Naka. Just a question, as it's your first day and the last day with Pastor Chukri here, how do you enjoy the study service? 
ta što to treba mogu na tegu nekako. Čuje